Why, hello and welcome back to another vloggy styled video. <coughs> a couple of things I want to apologise for right off the bat as one of them is, well, the last vlog style video that I've done, which was like an hour and 40 minutes long. I do apologise for that. It was way, way longer than I wanted it to be. Uh, you know, I'd, <coughs> I was trying something new with that and it just didn't work because it made the video way too long. I do apologise. Uh, the other thing is, as uh, well, I did say I was going to try and do like a vlog every week. You know, I me being back to work after being out of work for so many years. And last week should have been my second sort of work vlog, which I never really done. And the reason for that is quite simple. Well, first of all, this here is mold camera I used to use for the vlogs. And it's a good wee camera for what it is. It was quite cheap when I bought it and things like that. It's a bit old old hat now, like, really old hat, but in low light scenarios it doesn't cope that well, it makes the imagery really, really grainy, you know, which isn't ideal. So, by the time I was fishing work, because I was doing like 10 hour shifts, it was too dark at night, I mean no matter how much lights and lamps and all the rest of it I tried to give that, the image quality was just crap. I uh, decided, right, I'm not going to record at night, in the mornings I was... Like the, yeah, just by the time I actually got functioning to the point where I could actually try and record, I was needing to leave for work. <coughs> so that not that out. Then at the tail end of last week, I got a message from a friend of mine asking for help up at his house. I was like, yeah, that's fine, I'll come up, I'll help you out, that's no big deal, that's no qualms. So I went to go and do that, and I thought, when I agreed to it, it was going to be like a one day type thing, like I was going to be up for the Saturday and I thought, right, to myself, I can do that Saturday, I can record Sunday, edit Sunday and upload Sunday. And sod's law, the one day help turned into do it, helping for two days and by the time I was getting home from that, it was dark again, the camera was, wouldn't record and it never crossed my mind to actually use the camera I'm using now. So, yeah, that was... The issues are hot. So I do apologise. Not make excuses, my fault. I do apologise now if the focus is coming and going on this camera. I'm hoping it's not. But it is on autofocus, so that if it is, I apologise, that's why it's doing it. Now, on to sort of updates to do with work. Well, week two, there was nothing really interesting happened, if I'm honest. Like, it was what I class is like an average day at work is. Well, I went in and done my work, came home, went in and done my work, came home, went in and done my work, came home, so on and so forth. Nothing really interesting. I had a bit of training about, the most exciting bit of training is I got trained on a couple of power tools that, yeah, I've been using for years in, like, just normal life. But week three, that's a wee bit different. Because uh, we had the Jubilee thing for the Queen at the weekend, so... Yeah, we found, I found out midweek we were off on Friday, and I was like, yay, that's great. You know, like, to be honest, I was a bit like, well, how, how's this going to work? Because I was still doing 10-hour shifts, and I'm contracted to 40 hours, so I was like, right, okay, so Monday, Thursday, I do 40 hours, then Friday's a holiday, so how does that work? But turns out, I still get more overtime pay for the Friday. I was like, yeah, that's, that's great, I'm happy with that. And Wednesday and Thursday, i done my forklift licence, so I've now got my in-house forklift. That's brilliant. Helps out a lot with my work. Because up to that point, with the job I'm doing, the forklift is sort of a big part of it, but I wasn't insured, I wasn't licensed to use it, anything like that, because you've got to do an in-house test to show that you can control the thing. So every time I needed something done with the forklift, I had to run away, go and get somebody and get them to do the work for me and it, was, it wasn't really a pain but it was because obviously it's a pain for them, I'm taking them away from their work and they're having to jump in to come and do help me with mine and as you can imagine it was like try and make it worth their time and all the rest of it but it wasn't a big problem as in we made it work quite easily. Now that I've got it, I don't need to run away and get anyone else, it's the opposite, folk come and get me and ask me for help. Which I've no qualms with, it keeps me busy. I like being busy at work. 
then obviously I had that, so I'm quite happy with that, it was brilliant. And Friday, as I said, we had Friday off because it's this Jubilee thing and whatever, you, however they want to put it. And it was like, me and my partner were a bit like, well, we're both off on Friday, so what are we actually going to do? Because our days off don't line up at the moment. Uh, my partner's off Monday, Tuesday, and I'm off Saturday, Sunday, unless I'm doing overtime. So we're about like, let's let's try and make the most of it, you know? So I was like, we went out on Friday and we decided, right, Friday I just got paid. I was like, we'll go out and do some shopping for the house and things like that. And well, that's what we've done. Now, I know that sounds really like, oh, well, if you're only doing shopping for the house, then how's that good? It was just one of these things that we decided to go to the vape shop because I wanted to go and pick up some new, new oils and the like and... I'm going to be honest, one of the problems I've got in my work is my vapes get filled with crap and I've had a few issues with them, like, not nothing against the vapes, just the way it, it's played out. And you might notice I'm using a new wee vape here. If you had more hot eyed. Now, this is the vape I was using at work. It's my Geek Vape Aegis X. I love this, it's a great mod. If you notice in the top there, I've got a plunger in it. But what I found is in my pocket, just there there's a release catch and it opens the top as that got opened a few times and just there if you can see it hopefully the camera's focused on it is the fill filling gap now the problem with that is that when it was in my pocket that was getting released and obviously i wasn't telling couldn't tell because it's in my pocket and next thing i knew i've got a big blooming e-liquid stain on my my work trousers and it, it just didn't feel pleasant so I was like right that's a problem and yeah the plungers they are but it doesn't really stop it from happening it gets knocked out now the issue is I've got that one and I've got my Geek Vape L200 here I've, again I love this and it's got the the same sort of tank on it it's lovely I love those tanks but it's more or less the same design, so I had the same. I'd have the same issue. So I went down to signal and sort of spoke to Jim in there, because even my mouth to lung vape I'm carrying at work had. I was having issues with that same sort of thing, which was my wee drag X. Sorry, I had to think what that was there. And Jim recommended this. I was like, well, I'm not a big stick mod fan. I mean, it looks like a disposable. But it is really small, and it was only like £22. And Jim was like, well, give that a try, because it, it's small for your pocket at work. I was like, well, I'll give it that, it is. It's, a fa it's got a fast charge mode, it doesn't take a lot to charge it up. I was like, well, that's handy, and I'll actually give it its dues. So I, so I said to Jim, you know, like, I, I like my flavours, you know. And Jim said, well, the flavour out of these is immense. And I'm going to give him his juices, right? I actually, that thing is brilliant. I'm really glad I bought it. So I ended up buying myself one of these and my partner one as well. Different colours so we don't get them confused. And to be fair, I've actually found... Yeah, I only bought it on Friday, that's a Sunday, but... I've been using this all the time. You know, like... If you watch my videos, you know I still like a smoke. Like a fag. So... Even my fag, my fag counts dropped right, right down on using this. I mean, usually I'll, <laughs> like a pack, out, a 20 pack would do me a day and I'll literally have had the same 20 pack for like two or three days now. Since I bought this, it's really good. You know, flavours immense out of it. But as I said to Jim, I was like, Jim, I always like my direct to lung vapes. You know, I love the flavour out of that. Because mouth to lung's alright with a stronger nicotine to try and help cut down the fags, but sometimes you don't want the really strong nicotine, you want the flavour, and just like, as I say, it takes the edge off. And Jim's like, no, 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 with that you need nothing else, so give him his juice, he was not pushing another sale. He was like, no, just stick with that. And I was like, well, that's still going to leave me the issue with the big boys in my pocket, sort of opening up. And in his display case, I seen this. This is the Geek Vape. Aegis Solo or something like that. It's a single battery 18650 
mod, it's the smaller brother to the L200 basically. And I seen that in his display case, it came with the tank, I was like, you know what? For three weeks I've been doing 10 hour shifts and I've not really treated myself to something to celebrate my new job and things like that, so I went, you know what, I'm going to buy that. And I'll give Jimmy's jersey, he was like, you don't really need it though, I was like, I might not need it, but I'm going to treat myself. And we didn't really argue, but there was a bit of a debate over whether I was going to buy it or not. And I won. I bought it. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm actually going to say it, I'm really impressed with it. I've been running it since Friday with, with the other two. And for such a small tank, I mean, the only drawback I'm going to say about this is it does not hold a lot of e-liquid, but... The flavour of it is immense. I, mean, it's top, I don't know if you'll see that on camera. But it's top airflow. It's lovely. It's not too tight. It's not too loose. It's really nice. And the one thing I like about the tank, and that's why I've decided to start using it, instead of putting it, so I nails one, it's, it's actually a quarter turn to take the top off. Now, if I do that in my pocket, something's going wrong somewhere. So, that was my treats to myself, was a couple of new vapes, new oils, well, e-liquids, things like that. And yeah, I am have to admit, I'm really, really enjoying the work. So week three was really quite good, you know, I was happy to get my in-house fork left, I was happy to pick up some new vapes that are hopefully going to solve all these issues, <coughs> and things like that. So, yeah, then Friday night, as I've said to my partner, I went, you know what, why don't we go out to the pub for a few drinks? You know, we're both off, we've got the weekend off, let's go out, have a few drinks and enjoy ourselves. And my partner agreed. So we done what we had to do, like walk Nico, who's sleeping on the floor at the moment, and decide, right, we'll go to the pub. We weren't there 10 minutes. <laughs> In all honesty, 10 minutes we were there. And somebody I worked with walked in. <laughs> Literally, a boy walked in a little... God, I work beside him. But it's really strange. This is something I've only ever seen it in set things in life like airsoft. When I see an airsoft or outside a sites that I've played with a few times. And that I could always understand because the airsoft they're always like in tactical gear and all that. And then you're seeing them out in the real world and you're going, is it, is it not? Where this guy, he's got the proper work uniform, so I always see him in that. But I've got like. Because I'm just new, I've not got the proper work uniform yet. I've got the older uniform. And you could see it. The two of us were looking across the bar at each other. And the two of us were thinking the same thing as, is that who I think it is or is it not? And after about an hour, the guy comes up to the bar. He's getting around in because he's drinking with a few other people. And he turns around and he goes, do you work, work at such and such? I went, I knew it was you. <laughs> so that was it. We were off for about half an hour just chatting away. And he's now met my partner. So yeah, really quite interesting if I'm honest to have, have that type of thing out in the actual real world, you know. Turns out the guy lives just down the road from me. <laughs> Works beside me but just lives down the road. So yeah, there's that. I mean, the rest of the weekend we've just been doing odds and sods really. We've not been doing too much. Because, like as I said, I've been working 10 hour shifts, which... Is having Friday off felt really strange because I even got up on Friday and it was like started getting ready and I was like I've got to get ready for work and then I was like oh no wait I'm off <laughs> I was it felt really strange to keep telling myself I had Friday off so yeah it's week next week which would be like week four is going to be a bit different again because I'm on to I'm not doing ten hour shifts anymore I'm on my normal shifts because the ten hour shifts was like two hours overtime, I'm only really meant to be doing eight hour shifts. But yeah, it's, it's going to be strange because I know I'm going to get up in the morning and start getting ready and want to leave at the same time for a ten hour shift because that's what I'm used to at the moment. But no, I'm going to say this, I'm actually really, really happy I've got the job. I mean, I'm not meaning this in a bad way, but like, my mental health was never, I wouldn't say my mental health was ever bad, but it was strange, because you're always sort of counting the pennies, if that makes sense, going, well, can I afford to do this? I've got to wait so long till I get paid again, and I've got bills to pay. You're always sort of trying to work that money to 
straight as far as it can go. Where, with where I'm working now, I'm on weekly pay, which is brilliant, I actually really like that. And the money, money's really quite good. And it's like, well, you know what, we, I can actually get up, I can enjoy things, I'm going to work, I'm meeting people, you know, and I'm having a good, the guys I work with, I've said this already, are really good, you have a laugh with them, and even where I'm working is really quite good. You know, like, my all the supervisors I've met, they're not, like, stuck up or anything like that, they're actually quite down to earth, which is something I really like. And, yeah, I'm, uh, my mental health sort of really changed because I'm, I'm not under as much stress about making sure I've got enough money for things and wondering, like, how I'm going to get through to the next payday, things like that, because I still check what money I've got out going between paydays and I'm still very aware that, like, obviously I've got to put money aside for bigger bills and things like that. But, I'm, right now I'm better off on the wage than I am on the benefits. But I'm not going to go too much into that just now because it gets complicated, it's all to do with tax and things like that. But I'm really quite happy with the way things are going. If, and yeah, you know what? I know I'm going to take a knock in my wages at some point when this tax thing all kicks in and all the rest of it. But there's nothing to stop me actually doing overtime or things like that now and actually earning a bit extra money for treating myself or treating me and my partner to a meal out, something like that. I'm really, really quite enjoying it. So if you're watching this and you're on benefits, it's maybe something worth considering if you can work and your mental health's not the best and maybe try and find a wee job and give yourself that morale boost because that's what it's done for me personally anyway. I'm not saying I'll do it for you, but it did it for me. Uh, but anyway, I'm not going to keep dragging this video on too long, because like I said, the last one was like an hour and 40 minutes, that was way too long, I don't want this one getting close to that. But hopefully this video's worked out a lot better, hopefully he's like a bit more, hopefully the quality's a lot better. And yeah, if it is, I'm going to keep doing it like this. I am looking at buying another upgrade to this, so I can maybe actually do it a wee bit easier. You know, like, I actually have a screen facing me so I can see what the camera sees. Because, like I said, the screen on this camera is at the back. I can't see it when I'm recording. So, yeah, we'll take it as it comes and see how it goes from there. But, that's it for this time. And, well, I guess until next time, see you later.